Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going over 10 lessons in artist management from Revolt's 2017 music conference. The title for the primary panel on artist management was called Watch the Throne, basically saying protect the artist at all costs. And the first lesson is you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. I think that's pretty straightforward. Now these next three are coming directly from Coach K himself. So number two, Ownership is key and don't let anybody tell you that it's not. Number three, take a smaller check and take a bigger piece of the pie. And number four, ignore front heavy contracts when you plan to be in it forever. All three of these tie in together. Basically he's saying if somebody's offering you a lot of money up front, let's just say they're offering you a million dollar deal, Dang, that junk sounds good. But instead of taking that $1 million, say, hey man, give me $500,000. And instead of giving me that other $500,000 that would have made a million, give me the equivalent in actual ownership of the company. Of course, it's important in the sense of, hey, that money right there that you got in ownership instead of cash will probably be worth more in the long run. But it's also helping you as you create more and more deals by creating more streams of passive income. And as an artist, once again, if you want to be in the game forever, which is when he said ignore front end heavy contracts if you're trying to be in the game forever you want to create as many passive income streams as possible because you can't rely on just being hot today number five managers diversify to survive get your artists as many platforms as possible now in many ways this rolls back into the three things that coach k has said but also in platforms you can also speak in terms of not just finance but visibility by giving the fans multiple ways to consume your artists you also create an build a network where they aren't reliant on that one platform because one platform may go down. Number six, the plan is not how you get a deal. The plan is how you build yourself as an artist. Now, what the person that said this was basically saying is a lot of people look at deals as an endpoint, but when you get the deal, not only is it not just the endpoint, you still want to go as a career, but does the deal even work to help build you as an artist? You have record deals, but you also have these other brand deals and what does it contribute towards? So you need to have a vision for who you want to be or what you're building towards as an artist and see if these pieces fit and make sense for who you want to be. Seven. Now this one's coming from Key, who's 21 Savage's manager, and her method of operation is make them come to you. She basically said that with 21 Savage, they did one premiere where they rented out the whole page on, I believe it was that fifth, but for the most part, they just keep building and keep building and let these other brands and looks come to them. And if people are really rocking with them, they shouldn't have to chase them. That's her style. But as you guys know, I never like to just leave certain things on the surface because I want to make sure that other people who hear and think I'm gonna let them come to me are doing so, but doing so successfully. Why I believe Key and others like her who operate on that mindset are able to be successful is because when they are letting other people come to them, it's not just a, hey, come to me because I'm better than or something like that. It's just because they are focused on the right things. And when you are focused on the right things and not distracted by trying to make other people come to you and impress them and do all these little things when you start to play the game, you end up building something worth talking about, worth mentioning and worth being a part of. That's vastly different than just being lazy and not wanting to reach out to people or just being entitled and feel like they need to come to you because you just that good. And these next two will be coming from Yvette Noel Shore, who's been Beyonce's PR our manager since the Destiny Child's days. Number eight. As an artist, you are a 24 seven salesperson. And I love to hear this from her because so many artists still to this day, you wouldn't think it would be this way, feel like they don't like sales or they don't want to have to convince people of things or do business, but that is what an artist is. And being an artist is being an entrepreneur. Well, wait, wait, let me take that back. Being an artist and wanting to live off of your art is making the decision to be an entrepreneur. So you have to sell people, whether it's on the dream or fantasy of what you represent as an artist, whether it's your music, whether it's the brands that you wear, you are selling as an artist. The lifestyle, that is what an artist does and you can't avoid it. Forgetting that you have to sell will probably lead to you forgetting a lot of other small important things that are necessary to make your career a successful. And finally, number 10, protect your brand at all costs. The reputation is everything and it basically dictates how people perceive and receive the many other things that you do. People could either see your brand and believe that they should be paying more or have higher expectations or they could see it and think less of it. 
Brands can be fragile castles, protect them. And that's it for this one. And if you guys actually wanna go back through or you kind of miss one of them, I'm gonna make a list and put it in a blog link below. So you can click on that in the description. Other than that, like this video if you like it. And if you like it, then go ahead and share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.